What's up dudes, Chooch out here on the new King Song S20. I want to give you all a quick little rundown on it. Maybe even for the new people out there that want to check this thing out, wondering what it is. Man, this thing is absolutely, it's just the sickest device ever. It turns heads everywhere it goes. Looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. It really does. This thing draws more attention than any other electric unicycle out there I've ever ridden so far. I mean, by a long shot. Everybody wants to know about this thing. Everybody strikes up a 30-minute conversation about it. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it is, I mean, it's rad, dude. It really looks unique. It rides good, and I'll give you some specs real quick. This thing weighs about 80 pounds. It's actually like 77 pounds, but it is kind of a heavy device, guys. Um, it is a, a larger device. I think for, you know, anybody under the age of like, say like 13 years old it may be um, a bit much out there so for you know the smaller uh kids or whatnot the s18 is still going to be a great option for them and i'm glad they still make that wheel because uh just for the, the smaller folks out there i mean if you're you know a person under age of 15 really i'd say shoot for like the s18 man because this is just a lot of wheel to handle and i mean this is i mean i'm coming from somebody that rides dirt bikes too uh, it's just a, a quite a big machine um, on your feet if you've been riding these things for a long time whatever it's you, you'll be able to get used to it quick no problem and it, it'll feel better than any other wheel you've ever ridden very quickly and i i mean that it really does ride good guys and you can just compare it um, i feel confident riding this wheel at top speed everywhere i go i'm riding it at about uh, 40 to 43 miles an hour pretty much everywhere whenever I'm actually planing off on this thing like on the road and taking off guys um, towards the end of this video you'll see me just absolutely full speed ripping even hitting beeps on this thing uh, 43 hitting 43 miles an hour on the s20 um, and it rides good at that speed it really does it soaks up the bumps soaks up potholes and the suspension behaves like it should uh, this wheel has uh, unique suspension system on the back in my opinion this is the best so far the other ones have used like air suspension this one uses an oil suspension system with a coil where you can easily adjust your compression all you got to do is turn that blue knob back there and click it um, to increase your uh, compression or decrease it and it is very simple you literally it's an easy knob to turn click it even with like wintertime gloves on the cold hand easy to change it the lower knob back there that little red dot you see right there in the middle a little red dot knob that is your rebound you can change that really easy as well no fooling with air pumps wow. so you can really dial it in for your weight quickly and get it the way you want it so if you're riding on the road keep it a little stiffer if you're riding all terrain right in the middle if you're riding just trails keep it a little softer like i said top speed on it is 43 miles an hour now there's been some rumors that you can unlock this thing. I'm not too sure about that. I've even, you know, I've even been in the hobby for a while. I don't, I'm not very sure about that. So I'm not gonna really speak on uh, being able to unlock it to go faster. But I have heard some things about this wheel, being able to do that. Uh, so 70 kilometers per hour top speed or 43 miles per hour is what you can expect out of the box with this wheel. Uh, it includes a six amp charger on this. And the six amp charger is high quality that it comes with. It is one of the highest quality chargers that comes stock with any electric unicycle out there, and it is one of the fastest charging um, chargers that come with any electric unicycle stock out there, by far. Um, that's one thing that impressed me right off the gate is after draining this thing down to like 80, you know, draining it down um, to like 20% battery, um, using 80% of the battery, bringing it back, I was amazed, man. I literally like got up to use the bathroom after bringing it back and charging and I walked past the charger and typically when other wheels would still be charging because uh, they usually charge it at 4 amps so this this charger is just stock 6 amps is what this wheel can handle and they built it to be able to charge that fast uh, apparently and do it safely and consistently so it charges very quickly guys literally you can go out and ride um, drain it a long way down and then you come back throw it on the charger just chill out for a minute grab something to eat and it'll be fully charged up ready to go you, know, you can go back out riding again um, the, the stock power pads I think are absolutely phenomenal with this thing 
I literally didn't even put the back um, blocks on either one of them. And they're just stuck on the side with Velcro, guys. So they has Velcro on the back of the power, power pads. It comes standard with um, 3M tape to, to put on the sides. You see those little winglets right there? And you can just put them where you want them. And once they're on there, even with Velcro, they stay in place and they do what they're meant to do. They're not meant to be... Um, you know extremely solid pieces they don't have to be you're you're not putting a ton of weight on it you're just gripping it with the side of your legs and the bottom ones even have that boomerang plate um, right above them so you can jump on this one more confidently than any other power pads with any other wheel out there because you actually have bolts that go into the side of the wheel that hold that plastic piece that is the retainer for the lower power pads which is great I really like that feature they put in there, and not a lot of people mention that, but this wheel, you can really um, just go into any jump, any lip, anything like that with the full confidence that you can just crank with all your toe power, all your lift power, and just rip up on those um, uh, jump pads, and it's not gonna, they're not going to come off, it's not going to um, do anything, because like, you have that retainer right above it, that little plastic boomerang that you've seen right right in there kind of um 2200 watt hours 126 volt battery it has a smart uh, bms system in it and man this thing just rides smooth like it really does you can tell the power delivery on it um where it really the way i can explain it, it rides really really closely to the exn and the power delivery of it and the exn was one of my favorite uh power delivery riding wheels out there so the EXN had, uh, the, the low end torque was odd because the EXN was kind of my first experience with a hollow motor unicycle. Now hollow motor, don't let that worry you, hollow motor is what this one has. It is the new best design. This is a more sturdy design and they figured it out uh, with these wheels that hollow motors are the way to go simply because you can have more points of contact and your motor wires can come through a larger space and not have to be jammed through a axle. So they figured out a whole system with all these new wheels that is just way more solid. You are going to have your, it's way less maintenance. These were almost maintenance free before, but now it's even less maintenance with the new designs they've done. For instance, at EXN, I was just telling you, it had this same type of design on the motor. I've raced it three different times. I've crashed it tons of times. It's done a 25 mile loop around Waldo Lake in Oregon. It's been ridden or rode in about four or five different states, uh, thousands of miles of on road and off road, and I've never opened it one single time. And that wheel was sent out by Rev Rides, and I got to give them credit where credit's due. They go over all their wheels, they inspect them all, they make sure that their wheels are you know top quality before they send them out and i think that's one of the only companies that does that with all the scooters and all the wheels they unbox them and literally um <laughs> i don't know if they have douglas or brett or who they have up there uh riding it around like in a clean area in a clean space or either they have them just like picking it up and testing it which is awesome guys they're making sure that the thing works well and is safe for you before they send it off making sure it charges making sure it works good and i'm telling you i can notice that because that exn is the most maintenance free wheel i've ever had so shout out to rev rides man like straight up i know this is a video where euco sent out this wheel and i appreciate that you can use either link that you want to guys but i got to give credit where credit's due and they definitely hooked it up with that exn but the, what i'm getting to is that is the same exact motor design if you look at them open it up the whole motor design excluding the ex suspension system looks very similar with the EX and, and this wheel. And that is one of the main main components that was, in, with the EXN, you gotta think, there's no suspension in there. And I hit big jumps on that thing, I hit roots, rocks, everything, and it's held up fine. Way more so than the whole um, pedal hanger design on the old wheels. The old wheels, if you were just hitting jumps and all that stuff without suspension, just uh, ripping through trails, it would loosen your pedal hangers over time. And so now that's eliminated. You have suspension plus the upgraded motor design. And so guys, this is almost a maintenance free device. It really is. You may occasionally, um, eat, and if you put slime in your tire, when you first get this thing, you need to get that green slime stuff. I swear by it, get you like a little bottle of it and just 
follow it. You can look up a YouTube video. I have a YouTube video of how to do it. But put the slime in your tire. And once you do that, you can probably ride this thing for like a year and a half, two years without ever even having a flat tire. Like straight up. And just wipe it down with a, a wash rag and charge it up. And that's literally all you'll pretty much have to do with this wheel. Straight up, guys. And that's one of the coolest things about these. That's what I love about electric unicycles. Because I'm a guy that likes just riding my stuff, man. I like just ripping on my stuff. Like, yeah, I know how to wax a snowboard. Yeah, I know how to work on a wheel. Yeah, I know how to do all that. But at the end of the day, I'd rather be riding the thing, you know? So that's how some what happens with some of my stuff. Like with my snowboard, I'll end up being the guy out there that hadn't waxed a snowboard in like four or five trips. Just because I'm just like, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to ride and not worry about the whole wax process with that so with these machines if you're a person like that you don't like fooling with all the mechanical stuff but you like riding um man this is a blessing because your actual what they would call seat time with ride motorcycles or whatever um your actual riding time on this your hours logged on this device is tremendous guys you think about like whenever you go to buy buy a rv a snowmobile a a jet ski, anything like that. You got to think about the hours that are on the device. I was ta talking to my friend about this the other day. You got to think about, like, you know, you can see the hours on that's on the engine. With these unicycles, man, you got to think about the hours you're on these things for the amount of, you pay for it. And I was just, man, I was thinking about that. I was like, dude, like, I'm on these things, like, for hours and hours and hours compared to um, any other thing out there, like a jet ski that i would maybe buy or maybe like a four wheeler or like a dirt bike even like the hours I, i'm on one of these actually using the device that i paid for is um far exceeding much other things that you would buy and have maybe sitting in the garage the driveway or anything like that and I, that's not that's another thing not a lot of people talk about and even if you have all that other stuff say even if you have you know, a dune buggy, a paramotor, a, an RV, a, whatever it is, this is something that's going to get way more use, and your dollar-to-use ratio with this device is just extremely high. And that's one thing I've noticed about electric unicycles, um, and it's almost made me not want to buy other things just because I know how much use I get out of this uh, compared to what I would something else that would be equ an equivalent price. And I, I know that's a weird way to put it, but you kind of get like a stoic philosophy of just, you know, chilling out and, and having your fun with this, being able to go get your adrenaline rush, you know, get your, your ride in and exploring. It's like a lift ticket. I mean, man, this thing, it could put Vail Resorts out of business. This is an endless lift ticket. Look at this right here. Whenever I'm about to go down this backside hill, this is just carbon, dude. The suspension's engaging a little bit. You feel like you're floating on powder. And this thing, this thing costs about as much as a season pass to a, a Vail Resort now. So, I mean, straight up, this is like, I mean, I'd much rather have this than getting a season pass in the mail and going to sit in lift lines all day. And then this is just endless lift, I mean, endless fun right here, endless riding no lift lines just endless riding that's one another, like another thing I, it really feels like if you're a skier um i don't think a lot of the skiing de demographic has even really heard about these or um seen it or been interested in it or whatnot and i don't see why like i literally this develops all your muscles for skiing and come winter time your legs are going to be so much stronger and all those muscles like because whenever you go out for that first time skiing after the summer's been, been in session, you go out there skiing, you get really sore. And if you hit a bump or something um, and you're not, your legs aren't built for it and your muscles aren't expecting it, that's whenever injuries happen. That's whenever you get a pull, a tear, something like that. Because your muscles just are not built up for that sport the whole year. And this right here, I've noticed a huge difference with, I mean, a snowboard, but it correlates it really does correlate and just those leg muscles and stuff like whenever you hit an anomaly like say you lose a little bit of control on your snowboard and you have to hit like a really uneven patch that would literally it would throw you off kilter and it would pull something 
your legs are just built for it now. Like just because you're doing this all the time. And, and it just, it's, that's another thing I love about it. It keeps you really in tune and in shape for many other sports out there, for many other things, uh, especially for like lower body strength. Another awesome thing on this wheel, dudes, is it, the pedals it comes with are freaking great. They really are. Compared to any other stock pedals, these nail it, dude. Look at them. I mean, they are huge pedals. Kind of like a size 13 foot, man. You are going to be golden with this thing. And that is just awesome. They are sturdy pedals, man. They really have no play in them at all. They are connected to the vite, to the wheel, in a very uh, good manner compared to all the other wheels. They actually have like levers under them that support the weight against the metal shell. So all your weight is not necessarily on one little bar right there. I know that's a weird way to explain it, but it uses leverage against the metal battery casing um, to also support some of that weight. And it's all distributed in a very good way on there. And it's just um, it, it's just a lot better design than the other, de other design where it used the pedal hangers, guys, because that was the fatiguing point with most wheels. If you're worried about maintenance, guys, this is the lo I'm telling you is the lowest maintenance because you don't have those freaking pedal hangers, man. Those old pedal hangers that were in the other wheels were just a nightmare to deal with. This whole design does away with that weak point, which is so sick, so sick, man. And I, I love that. I'm, I'm loving the fact that with each wheel I get, it's less and less crap to have to deal with. So uh, that's one huge thing, one huge thing. And I think all the companies should strive for that simplicity, bro. Like I even thought that I missed the speakers on this thing, but I'm telling you, Come time to take it apart, you're not gonna you're not gonna miss those Bluetooth speakers and having to deal with the wires and whatnot. If you want music, get a JBL clip on and clip it to your pants or whatever. I even like the Bluetooth in some wheels, but you know it gets to a point where it's like, man, what do you really need on the device and what do you really not need on the device? And it's just simplicity wins, man. In my opinion, it seriously does. I haven't even taken the thing apart yet, but I can tell you already. This one's going to be easy to deal with, and I like that. I really do. That's a big thing. So the whole design of it is great. Simplicity is there. Um, $3,200, guys. You can pre-order it with the links below. Uh, EUCO did send this wheel over. That's why their link is in the top down there. If you're confident in going with EUCO, they have a great reputation. The guys are on top of the game. They have great... Um, selection in stock if you don't want to get this wheel I'm not trying to sell you this wheel I get the same amount of commission whether you get this one or you get one that's half the price so I'm not just trying to sell you on this wheel guys if you want to get something different than this one do it I'm telling you get something cheaper whatever it is just click the links below and use the links that's all I'm asking so you don't have to buy this wheel at all you can just watch the video and enjoy the video and buy whatever wheel you really want to. I'm not telling you to buy the S20 straight up. I'm just telling you I'm having an absolute blast on it. And it is the one wheel that's gotten me out of the house. Uh, more so than any wheel thus far. And been excited to ride it more so than any other, any other wheel. I love it. So that's just my opinion on it. But the links below, guys, they all help me out. Choose whoever you really want to roll with. But if you can use EUCO. They're the ones that sent this over, and they're the reason you're seeing this video right now. And giving them that click below shows them I sent you your way and helps me out. So I do appreciate that. And this was not even a free wheel from EUCO. Like, they just, I mean, like, this is a demo wheel they sent to me. So there's no reason for me to, like, sell out or anything like that. Like, straight, like straight up, there's really no reason. And then, um... You should probably go watch and compare this video to the other videos to, to see me riding it, bro. Because, like, it's, there's no, no question. Like, there's, it's like I improved, like, tenfold, bro. Um, just being able to get on this wheel and ride it around. I, I don't understand what the question is there about why um, I'm, I would be BSing you on this wheel. I, I mean, I, I really, I'm not, dude. And if you think that, that's cool, because... I hope the price goes down on them, and I hope I can get another one because these things are sick, dude. Like, I even might buy, I might pre-order another one on top of the one 
then I'm getting um, sponsored by RevRide. So RevRide is, you know, I'm going to be getting one eventually. Uh, I'm just having it wait just like you guys. So my wheel that's actually going to be coming as the sponsorship wheel from RevRide for me to make content for them on is coming soon. But I got to wait like all you guys. So um, just simply the only reason I got got this wheel is because EUCO kindly let me use one of their demo wheels instead of just you know having it sitting around they're like yo let me send this thing over to them let them get some videos out there guys so that's that's big and so if you can click that link and show them some support that's the only thing i'm asking you know i don't care if you get whatever you can get whatever the hell you want from them <laughs> seriously straight up just uh you click the link it shows you you got sent there from chooch that's all that matters um anyways dudes if y'all enjoyed the video, throw the thumbs up, and I will see you dudes in the next one.